taxes are just as miserable when you wait to the last minute to do them. Oh, I would do anything for a distraction. Perfect. Whoever you are, I'm in love with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alex, honey. Hey, so what are you doing here? I came to apologize for that phony marriage proposal I made April Fool's Day. Came to apologize? Yes, and uh, and also to give you some news. Oh. Well, I have some news for you, too. Oh, good. What's that, honey? Gee! Alex! Uh, I'm not saying everything's fine. I'm just saying that all of a sudden he was Max again. Man, I knew for all this stuff happened. So I take it you two came back here and talked it out. Oh yeah, we talked it out and we talked some more. And <laughs> yeah, I just want everything to go forward from here, you know. You know that this gambling thing, he's got a grip on Max, he's got a grip around his throat. I know that, Cord, but it was like we finally made a connection. Oh, he, the way he went running over to Landfair when he heard about Todd Manning and. And, oh, he was so relieved when he heard about C.J. and Sarah being safe. This, it was the man I knew all over again. And then you two had your little, uh, argument. Well, I'm just sorry it took us so long to finally have that nose-to-nose -nose yes, conversation. but you did. And that's what makes the difference. You put your friendship on the line. I think, I think the worst is over already. Seven, come on, seven. <laughs> all right! <laughs> Again, three times in a row, you saw it. Thank you. So, uh, what's your secret, Max? Yeah, I could use some of that. Yeah, meaning money. No secret. Just got to think big, risk big. And Jason, you got to be willing to take a chance, simple as that. So tell you what, my man, this $20 bill, I will bet you, you do not know the building that is on the back. What do you say? What? I said, if you can name the building on the back of this 20, it is yours. If you can't, then you pay me 20. So come on, you can't win if you're not planning to play. So let's go, let's go. Thank you, Mr. Gannon. And we are ready to hear the opening statement by the defense now. Are you ready, Ms. Gannon? Yes, Your Honor. No, uh, uh, excuse me, just a minute, Your Honor. What, 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 what? My life is in your hands. Be brilliant. I'm not in the habit of asking twice, Miss uh, Gannon. Yeah, yeah oh, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I, I was just... No explanations. For... Proceed. Ladies and gentlemen, the district attorney intends to prove, so he says, somehow, that Dorian Lord, 18 years ago, murdered her husband. But I'm here to tell you that he won't prove it. Why? Because he can't, plain and simple. It just isn't true. But I can tell you why, after all this time, we're sitting here in judgment on Dorian Lord. That's plain and simple, too. Because her enemies have decided it's time to get this woman. You see, Dorian Lord is not a popular woman. She's isolated from her family, so they're going to move in for the kill. Well, I will not stand by while an innocent woman is condemned and convicted by rumors and lies. This woman, my client, is innocent until proven guilty. You remember that, ladies and gentlemen. Proven guilty. When I finally pasted that deed in, I felt like the place was ours, you know, Max and my special place. <laughs> I was all ready to spring the surprise on him, and I found out he was lying to me. Still hurts, huh? Well, it's like every time I looked at him, it seemed like I was looking at a stranger. Nothing I believed him seemed to make any sense anymore. Yeah, but all that is over now. Right? Oh, yeah, we're, you know, yeah, thank the goddess. <laughs> it seems like Max has finally realized what his lying has done to all the people around him that love him so much. And uh, I feel like the worst is over. I really do. Everything's gonna be fine. It's gonna be just fine. So what's it gonna be, big boy? You gonna take that bet in or out? What is it, huh? Bet. On the back of that 20, there's the White House. 
White House it is. Oh. And the 20 is yours. Oh. That's so nice. I've never uh, won something like that. I don't know when the last time I won something. Yeah, well, not only that, you won it from me, which, believe me, I never lose. In fact, you know what? Just so no one accuses you of lying, hand me that pen, if you please. You won, signed Max Holden. Frame it, it's lucky now. You know, I'm here making change all day, Max. I know it's on the back of the 20. I would have made this bill unless I was 100% sure. Oh, now, Jason, where's the fun in that? Right here in my hand. <laughs> right here. No, no, no. The fun is in the not knowing. The fun is in writing out the moment. Uh huh. <laughs> Well, uh, back to work, many bags. <laughs> hey. Hi. Talk good. on Sunday, Jason. Lots of whipped cream. Oh, you got it. Coming right up. Beth? Hey, Jessica, what's going on? Hi, hey, Jess. Uh, Jess, school out already. Already? Try three tests in one day. <laughs> Ouch. You better make that a triple scoop Sunday, OK? <laughs> So, uh, tell me something. Any news on the, uh, trial, Dorian's trial? I mean, because I know your mother. She must be wound up by it. I wish. She just sent a letter over to me. Jessica, meet me at 6 o'clock. Who knows what I did wrong this time? Well, maybe you didn't do anything, you know? Maybe she just misses you. That's a drag, too. Yeah, well, moms can be a drag sometimes, huh? <laughs> Try all the time. Yeah, well, usually when they're being a drag, it's because they care, you know? Why, after all this time, should they bring such extraordinary charges against Dorian Lord? I'll show you the reason. This book, The Lord of the Banner, The Life of Victor Lord, this book stirred up all kinds of old rumors, long dead, long forgotten. Publicity, mudslinging, backbiting, tabloid publicity. Gossip is good as gold, folks. Gossip is gold. And innocent, guilty, who cares, as long as there's lots of tears and juicy pictures, right? Well, this is a court of law, not tabloid journalism. And we do care about such things as truth, fairness, and justice. I want you to think about something. 18 years ago, when the facts were very clear in everyone's mind, not one person, not the district attorney, not the police, not one doctor, not one nurse, and certainly no witnesses, I mean no one thought a crime had been committed. And now, suddenly, after 18 years, Dorian Lord is charged with murder. She did it for the money. And why now? Because a book has filled the air with old rumors and old stories. And we all know how time can play tricks on people's memories. So a case built entirely on circumstantial evidence was concocted and brought against my client. And here we are. Well, there's no denying that Dorian Lord inherited a great deal of money. She was Victor Lord's wife. But that doesn't make her a murderer. My great aunt Natalie had the most beautiful silver tea service that she left me. And I said to her once, Aunt Natty, I'd kill for that silver. But I didn't kill her. And all of the bestsellers and all of the opinion polls and all of the politics and all of the hoopla cannot take the place of a fair-minded jury. That's who you are. You decide. That's your job. To see that justice is done. Justice. The kind you would expect for yourselves. So be honest. Be wise, and most of all, be fair. And if you're fair, I'm sure you'll find Dorian Lord.
to be innocent. Thank you. Thank you.